Welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Celtic's under-18 side suffered a shock 2-1 defeat away to Montrose in the Scottish Youth Cup on Friday night, ending their defence of the trophy far earlier than expected. Played at Lynx Park, the home of the Scottish League One side, Montrose started the match strongly and were two goals up within 17 minutes thanks to Jay Cochran and Ben Hermiston. Despite a reply from the young hoops through Daniel Cummings, as well as some significant Celtic pressure in the second half, Montrose held on for a famous victory against last year's tournament winners. Stuart McLaren's side played at an entertaining final against rivals Rangers in May, winning an 11 goal thriller 6 5 by the end of extra time at Hamden. It was broadcast live on BBC Scotland for sporters to enjoy, having been denied tickets. Hopes could have been high for an extended run in this year's edition, but it's the Academy of the Gable Endies who will dream of silverware beyond the third round. It's a huge confidence boost for them, and they feel like they can now beat any team left in the tournament. It's unclear whether or not the Celtic side was significantly weakened because of youth international call-ups or injuries, with no official updates from the club on the fixture. However, fans would like to think the boys shouldn't be on the receiving end of a defeat to Montrose any level, even if those games are all about player development. Hopefully at the very least, and through their disappointment, it was a big learning experience for the group, and they can move forward into the rest of the season with a new determination. Israeli football pundit Avar Jai Sela has told Lyle Abada he will need to find a way to get out of a recently signed long-term contract to Celtic because he's finished at the club. And he warned him that he could end up getting booed on his return from injury after the club's row with the Green Brigade. The Celtic Ultras had a display in support of Palestine on the day the conflict took another turn last weekend with attacks from Hamas in Israel. Palestine has also been under fire and the conflict is ongoing. Celtic released a statement criticising the Green Brigade for their display and it came after Abada had held meetings with Celtic's hierarchy. Former Celtic midfielder Nir Beton also took aim at the supporters for their display and now Abada has been told by Seller that it's time to find a way to leave the club. He admits that it would be difficult to get out of his contract he only signed last month and Abada has since been out of injury. But he has been told it would be in his best interest to find a move away from Celtic because it will be difficult for him to play in front of the Celtic Park crowd following the display. Speaking to Sport 5, Seller said, It's not easy to get out of a long-term contract, which you signed a month ago, which gives you a high salary and supports an entire family. But one thing I do know, what neither side is going to give up on this story. A barter will not fold, and it's a good thing, and the Celtic crowd will probably continue to wave Palestinian flags and protest against Israel. It is absolutely clear that it will also lead to boos towards Abada every time he plays. Abada will make his own decisions, but one thing must be appreciated, and that is his willingness to stand up for oneself. I don't judge the situation in terms of value. It seems that Lila Bardo has finished his role at Celtic. It's hard to imagine him playing for fans who don't want him. Even if the financial situation seems complex, in the end, in all cases that we know of, it is decided in the player's favour. And the player's best interest is to find his place elsewhere. Celtic fans, what do you make of Lila Bardo and do you think he will need to leave? Let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video, guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.